What's going on, YouTube Frosty? I hope you guys are doing well. I know we're in the middle of the MW3 life cycle, and we shouldn't be looking too forward to the next Call of Duty game, but it sounds as if we're going to be getting our first look into the next Call of Duty game in just a little over a month. From Charlie Intel, Call of Duty 2024 will have its own direct following the Xbox showcase on June 9th. We'll be airing a special deep dive into the next installment of a beloved franchise. We can't say much, so for now we'll call it the Xbox Game Showcase, followed by Redacted Direct. As soon as I see the word redacted, right away my mind goes to Black Ops. And so many times during the peak of Black Ops and the peak of Call of Duty, their marketing campaigns were almost cryptic. And I loved that about it. And that is what I feel as if we're going back to here with the next Black Ops game. Because let's be honest here, it's going to be called either Black Ops 5 or Black Ops Golf War. Because Golf War is the era it's being rumored to be set in. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now, along with this announcement, we also got a poster, a picture, our first little bit of marketing for us to sit here and speculate. So let's look at this poster. Right away, you have two big redacted black bars. Underneath that says direct, immediately following Xbox Game Showcase, and then another redacted, I'm assuming that's just Activision. That's my assumption. But the main thing that I want to focus on is the center of the picture, which is three wolves' heads. One looking off to the right, one looking off to the left, and one looking directly at you, but in a slant. And that one is transparent, showcasing the Capitol building in the United States. And I believe this is the back of the $1 bill in the U.S. So, that's kind of all the dissecting I can do here. But from this, I can deduce it's going to be a Black Ops game. It's going to involve something that the United States were involved in, which they were major players in the Gulf War. So maybe that's what we can draw the conclusion from. Either way... This is the type of marketing that Call of Duty's been missing. This used to be the type of marketing they had all the time. And it was great. It was fantastic. It was so easy to get invested in because it was mysterious. You were the one finding things out on your own. And while they had that little text message thing last year for MW3, I don't really feel it gained as much traction as the old marketing campaigns of the old Black Ops days. Regardless of that, I'm excited for what's in store. I'm looking forward to Call of Duty 2024 more than I've looked forward to a Call of Duty game in quite some time. And I'll tell you why. There's a few reasons. Reason number one, it's a Treyarch game. You guys know how I feel about it. I've praised Black Ops Cold War regardless of its negatives. I still think that was a pretty decent game. And if there's a studio I can trust to listen to the community a little bit more, it's Treyarch over everyone else. But I also have to give some flowers to Sledgehammer Games here because they've made some positive progress this year with Modern Warfare 3. Now, unfortunately, there's still some glaring problems, some glaring errors with that game. But regardless of that fact, I still feel as if there's a decent game there. And if they can build on that momentum and on that positive progress and put that into Black Ops Golf War or Black Ops 5 or whatever this game is going to be... I think we have a pretty good game on our hands. Learn from the mistakes that MW3 made the same way that MW3 learned from the mistakes that MW2 and Vanguard made. And let's make one of the best Call of Duty games we've seen in recent memory. I mean, this could be better than Black Ops 4 if it has the proper care and time invested into it. Now, obviously, this sounds like I'm being extremely optimistic. It sounds like I'm extremely positive. This is all being cautious, though. I'm not going to fully believe that Call of Duty has learned from its mistakes. I'm not going to fully believe that we're going to get an absolute banger of a game. But I can be hopeful for it. I can hope and wish and pray that it happens. Because I want Call of Duty to have that. I want the new players for this franchise to experience a great Call of Duty game like what we used to have. They think MW3 is good? Imagine what you would have thought of Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 back in the heyday of Call of Duty. It would have been mind-blowing for you. You're impressed by this. Oh boy, would you be impressed by that. And that's what I want this franchise to experience again. I want to see a renaissance, a reinvigoration for this community. And I want to see the loyal fans that have been around for a decade or longer to finally have something worthwhile 
to be excited about. So yeah, the expectations are a little bit higher. The hope is a little bit higher. Because when you have a game like Black Ops, when you have a studio like Treyarch, it's very important that you deliver. And for a lot of people, this is like last chance. MW3 made positive changes, but this is last chance. Because I don't know if anybody trusts Infinity Ward or even Sledgehammer to an extent to properly create a game that will satisfy this community and will make this community excited. So, yeah. Big shoes to fill here, Treyarch. Big hopes from this community. But I like the fact that we're starting early. I like the fact that we're going a direction that is familiar, but also a little bit different. Following the Xbox Showcase, I will be tuning in, figuring out what's next for Call of Duty. I will be covering here on this channel. I will talk about it as positively as I can, but I'll also point out potential faults that the game might have. Of course, any type of preliminary showcase like this is always going to just be about campaign. We might get a little bit of a tease with multiplayer, but normally these types of reveals, these deep dives, are with the campaign. And honestly, when it comes to the campaign, I hope they go more of the Black Ops 2 route, where it's a pick-your-own-adventure type thing, where there's multiple endings and your decisions actually matter, and it doesn't feel like this linear experience. And please, for the love of God, do not make the same mistake that MW3 made with their open missions that didn't feel like open missions and were just massive disappointments in the end. So yeah, June 9th is when we get our first look into the next Call of Duty game. June 9th is when we get to find out what Treyarch has been cooking for the last four years. Can it deliver? Can it live up to what this community needs and deserves? and expects. Only time will tell, and hope can only last for so long. Unfortunately, it's a little over a month away. We do have some new MW3 content to talk about before then. I think this will coincide right with Season 4 coming out, or be close to it as well. We've got Season 3 Reloaded coming tomorrow, which I'll cover. Hopefully, praying they don't break the game again when they release a major title update, but we'll cover it here on this channel even if they do. But that's it for the video today, guys. I'm very curious what you think of the announcement for Gulf War. If you are excited about it, what you need to see. Will it bring you back? Will it just further alienate you? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.